team doesn't get on the objective when they could have, which results in them not winning the round. Okay, how about that one? Does that sound good? Round due to them not getting on the objective. All right, yeah, how about this one? Is this one good? How does that look on the bingo card? Huber, Huber kept talking about how every week it somehow turns into we're getting close to writing a paragraph. Does that look good? <laughs> All right, so we have another spectating bingo today, which we have a bronze tank playing Rialto. Apparently it's a pretty long game. Really curious to see how it goes. For anybody new to the bingo cards, if you see the question marks on the bingo card, that is three things that I know what they are when they happen. We'll check them off and chat will try to guess what those are. We've had some really, really, really good bingo cards and, uh, and videos, and I'm really excited to see how this one will go. This is a long game here. I'm ready. It's bingo time. And here we go. It's time. Bronze Ramatra. Well, bronze tank, because I think there's gonna be multiple hero selections here. Already selected no, spraying the spawn, which was a part of the previous bingo card, but not this one. Here we go. One. It's time. You know, I've talked about this a lot to begin with, and I actually, I wonder what's going to happen here. I've talked about this a lot on, it's so interesting to me seeing Rialto now and seeing like where a lot of team fights are played in different ranks. I've seen it even in the play of the game videos, right? Like a lot of the time what you'll see in like, at least in like, like GM games, you, you sit up here, right? Because you have sight lines, you can back away, you can play further back, you have a lot of cover. I noticed in a lot of rank games, like, especially watch like a lot of the bronze specs, Hayden, Everybody plays very, 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 very close. Like, very close. Oh, is this going to be envir environmental? Then we'll find out. We'll see. We'll see. Nope. Right away. Nope. Close, though. User disconnected from your channel. Excellent. But yes, Ramon doesn't get booped off. This is fine. Actually, speaking of this, in general, chat, we actually do have something on the bingo card that is checked off. Let me just double check to make sure. Obviously, we have a Kiriko, right? There is a Kiriko. And believe it or not, there's also a question mark. So we'll check that off very quickly. All right. Before both teams started fighting, the BAP used lamp. I'll look very quickly at that. We have time. We just started. Attackers incoming. Watch yet. Healing you up. Not wrong. That is definitely randomly using your ability. There was no reason to do that. There, there's. I'm watching this. I'm like, you know what? Maybe they were lamping for a reason. Maybe they're trying to like lamp the Hanzo for like a free like pick. No, Bap was like minimized. Like, oh wait, love, I don't lamp. <laughs> You're right. That is on the bingo card. Good call. Good call. Ability randomly used. Hey, off to a good start right there, huh? All right, let's continue on. What was the question mark? We'll talk about that in a minute. I'll give you, uh, I'll give the hint after this. So far, we're kind of ex watching exactly what I expect when that happens. When you play close, it gives opportunity for the team to basically uh, kind of make a play off of that. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. The, yep. So far, what I'm noticing is like, it's like the classic usage of just using your abilities all at once because the cooldowns are up. Also, going the lamp there is I would recommend because it will be a little bit easier. Oh yeah, here we go. Pop your ult, everybody. Yeah, oh yeah. Classic. Mercy trying to res. Yeah, there we go. Anything else? Bastion ult? I think I think the thing we need a bastion ult. The Mercy revive? Yeah, but Mercy didn't get Mercy didn't get the revive off though. That was the thing. Mercy didn't get the revive off. Okay, I'm fully expecting a Ramatra ult just to win this team fight because I keep hearing how good Ramatra ult is when we've like, even when we, like we did like the the tier list where we had bronze players submit their tier list. Ramatra was like S tier. So I'm very curious to see this happen. Oh yeah, yeah. Here's the L combo. Get ready. Here it comes. Yeah, 
There it is. Now I'm curious to see. What I what I love about what I love about that the whole time at no point and and, it, and I would say this very much okay one thing you can do there as Ramatra because you have the speed boost is try to go to their back line so let's just watch this again very quickly plus we get to see the Bastion all again first of all I'm gonna go up here in the air here let's look what the Bastion's at where did the Bastion all go did we get the classic Bastion all we see where it just goes into one spot yep watch Ramatra now now. If you're if you're a match right now, remember you have speed boost, okay? Bastion has kind of already backed away a little bit, and you can use your right click to prevent that damage. What you want to do, rather than go for the Arisa, and I know the Arisa is low, right? But hear me out here. If you push into their back line, they're not gonna be able to heal the Arisa anymore. Your teammates can take care of the Arisa. Listen, if you're if that Arisa right here with 20% HP, if, if if Jimmy over here gets your whole team, then you know what? That's a great play by the Arisa. So what you do is go to the back line, but instead. You decide to keep fighting the Orisa, and what happens? Eventually, they start to back away a little bit more. And then, when the Bastion is in turret form, the reason why we're seeing whatever this is, is because the Bastion's in turret form. Then you put your right click up, but you want to run to the back line. That way, it's a lot easier, and you don't have to like chase them to get into it. You'll, they'll be in it, and they're just basically, at that point, there's nothing they can do. The payload has reached the checkpoint. You are safe with me. Step right up. I like your commitment to just shooting the wall there to eventually aim on the Orisa. Great high noon there. Wait, did, did wait, wait. Did high noon get anybody there? <laughs> you know what it would have been great? Look how close the cast was to falling off there. Like there was a chance you were going off the map. Okay, I think that is on the bingo card of ultimate gets nobody, right? Yeah, ultimate gets no one. I think we got to check that off at probably any point during this bingo video at some point because that's just kind of what happens. But we saw that coming. Also, the question mark chat. Here's my hint. It's a hero. Now, keep in mind, I didn't. The bingo card was completely like it wasn't based off of the bingo card. But I will say this: it's it's a hero that we have on there, and um, yeah, and it's not Bastion, believe it or not. I see a couple people in the chat guessing it. It was Ramatra. So the hero was Ramatra. All right, back to this. So like in, in this situation, and, and 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 not necessarily, but like sometimes you want to go high ground here at the beginning. We have a Valk, just a Valk out of nowhere. Two picks, pop Valk. Why not? Right? Why not pop a Valk? So far, I'm not really sure. Like, <laughs> wait, was that just a random shield, or did you try to shield off? I gotta see this. I can't tell. Did you mean the shield right here? I can't tell. But I think you just—I think you just accidentally shielded there because that's gonna do absolutely nothing. Well, I guess maybe in theory the bat might. You had vortex. Right click. Right click. There's a pocket in the bastion. You can right click in a second. You survive that before it. Okay. Here we go. Shield time. That's a good shield. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We got a Bastion L chat. You know what that means? We're going to see if we see the classic Bastion. Like, I'm telling you. It is like, I consistently see this with Bastion L now. Just hit your button all in one area and hope for the best. Look at that. Yeah, perfect Venn diagram. It got somebody. I, I could not tell you. Oh, wait, was there a sold? Oh, yeah. One second, chat. I didn't even see this. Are you ready? We didn't even see this. Oh no. Oh no. They had nowhere to go. I didn't even know the soldier was there. I don't even know if the Bastion knew the soldier was there. What does the Bastion's point of view look like? I'm curious now, sorry. Here we go, let's see, let's see. That Bastion had no clue. That that is amazing. So I, 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 I we went we went we went on that one for a while. Here we go. Back to this. 
Uh oh. Good job using Nemesis for him to get out in LOS. Go to the back line. Go to the back line. Go to the. Go to the. In that situation, you might be able to get an limb in the back line. Here's your shield. That's a, that's a good shield. I like that shield placement. Good job. Ah, shit. No. Yep. Yep. Classic. Oh, here's the revive. Not in the middle of the team, though. Okay, that's in the middle of the team. I would say that that Arisa Res counts as Mercy reviving in the middle of the team. What do you think, chat? Hear me out. There's two ways that you go about Mercy reviving in the middle of the team. There's reviving in the middle of the team, and there's also reviving your teammates in the middle of the team. You get what I'm saying? Now, Mercy was right here. It wasn't in the middle of the team here. But my take on this is that Arissa was rezzed in the middle of the team. Now, I look at that the same way with that one, but if we want to go with having Mercy revive in the middle of the team, that's fine. I'm sure at one point we will see that. Also, I love that the Arissa is now forced to be in the middle of the team because... And that's what happens. That's what happens. All right, so everybody use their all time. Oh, that Bastion's going back to spawn. Wait, maybe not. Oh yeah, that Bastion's going. No, wait, no, they got nobody. It's all time. Go, 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 go. Ah, there we go. There you go. That's a good ult. Oh, well, maybe not. Wait, yeah, you know what? You got a Bastion there? Mercy Valk? I don't, that was. All right, my take on this one. That's a bingo, uh, not a bingo, that's on the bingo card. Mercy definitely did not need a Valk there. Ultimate after team fight is one slash lost. I think that is 100%. Mercy doesn't need a Valk there, all right? Here we go. Does everyone use ult? Yeah, but like I ended up looking, there was still a lot of ults left. Like if everybody used their ult now? No, that's the window, you gotta run. Oh no, huge res. Not in the middle of the team. We, we, we decided that wasn't gonna be it. All right, get aggressive. Oh, we have we have a Ramatra versus Ramatra matchup. Wait, I'm sorry, but whoa, 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 whoa. You know what my favorite part about this? What ended up happening with here was that the Ramatra went out of LOS and Mercy at this point. Mercy at this point had a decision to make, all right? Do I go try to go up there with my teammate or do I battle Mercy in? Mercy went with, I'm battle Mercy in. And look at this, Mercy committed to this, by the way. Mercy was like, I'm going in, I'm going in. Now, is this 1v5? Maybe, there is a, uh, on right now meanwhile the mercy they get the mercy let's just go back to that for a second to where we originally were so what happened to the mercy was this you ready i'll show you mercy was going in wanted to heal the ramatra ramatra went up the stairs out of los mercy said that's it i'm just going in battle mercy time it's time to dps then decided to go look again and yeah that's happened to mercy so now we know There we go, Ramatra going for the back line. That is out of range, by the way. Tough. That's when you want to hold up your right click at that situation. Like, if they're out of range, you, you may not be able to catch up to them. So it's okay to right click that because you have an opportunity to maybe survive that. All right, do we have anything on the bingo card after that? Actually, we do. I actually have one thing we're gonna check off the bingo card here in a second. Uh, let me just double check to make sure. Oh yeah, definitely. 1v5? Yeah, that, you know, we'll count that. I know that I know the cast was on the stairs, but I would say that's also the definition if someone goes in 1v5. I, I am fine with that one. Someone might be like, uh, excuse you, that was a 1v4. We're going to go with 1v5. Mirror matchup means both teams have the same comp. Chat, what do you, you know what? We'll just go with this right now. What do you think the question mark is? Well, we'll go right now because this one's obvious. Now, is it Battle Mercy? It could count as Battle Mercy. That's the hint here, which I think should be pretty obvious. Is it Battle Mercy? No. But what else is considered Battle Mercy? DPS support. That's a classic one we've had. I had to put it as a question mark because I feel like DPS support has been very consistent in this. All right, back to this we go. Let's head back to the, to the Ramatra. So far, it's been like exactly what we see in a lot of like the bronze games. That is a Vortex. I'm actually curious to see where that goes. 
Now, I like to throw vortexes out of spawn, okay? But also, a lot of time, the higher you go with it, the better. Otherwise, this is what happens. Yep. Good shield. All right, I just want to talk about this for one second. At any point there, if you really wanted to, you could have went into uh, Nemesis form, held right-click, and then got healed by your teammates, and they probably wouldn't get you. All right, here we go. Oh, we got a visor. Let's watch this. You know what? If that doesn't if that doesn't say that's a Soldier 76 ultimate, I don't know what does. Soldier 76 ult is one of those ults that like you have those moments, right? Like amazing. But most of the time, that whole sequence of events is exactly what I expect. If I'm playing Soldier 76, this is what I expect when I ult. I got res. I see their tank running away. It's ult time. Let's go. Oh wait. Oh, oh, you you hit. Oh, I'm gonna get you. Oh, it's a Ramatro. Come here, peek me. Oh, I'm dead. Now I actually, you know what? I just realized that also counts towards the bingo card there as the last question mark. I just realized that. That is the question mark. That that does that does count. All right, chat got it. Chat already got that one. Ultimate counter, that does count. Was it towards the end of the ultimate? Yes, but that is ultimate counter. And as you've seen with previous bingo cards, ultimate countered has been a consistent one we've had. I forgot to put it on the question mark bingo card, but it was, it was ultimate countered. That does count as ultimate counter. That means we actually already only like one third into this game have the bingo card question marks already off the board. I think that's a first this quickly in. That is a first this quickly in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, look at that there. Yeah, it's been like a team fight, right? Has this been a long team fight? I mean, listen. We'll go back to the long team fight question. First of all, you know what? We're just gonna check that off. You wanna know why? Long team fights happen all the time. I don't even know what's considered a long team fight anymore in the bingo card, but that's a long team fight. Like, that is just... It's a, at any point, Cuber could find a team fight here and be like, that's a long team fight. We're just going to go with it. That, that team fight's been going on forever. I agree. Uh, we haven't checked the Mercy Res in front of the other team because chat w was, was saying that they prefer if it was like Mercy Revives in the middle of the team. Which we'll see, by the way. I think we will see that at some point. Now, tell me, chat, this isn't an amazing situation. Is this Ramatra ultimate good? Yes. What I love about this, though, is the commitment by both Ramatras to say, you know what? I'm not dealing with you. I'll see you later. This Ramatra doesn't even have ultimate. I want to point out, this Ramatra doesn't even have ultimate. Now, I'm also a little bit confused because... Were they trying to, like, break the box open to get, like, extra ult charge? <laughs> the cast was pinged? Where? When was the cast pinged? Show me. You're right. Oh, you're right. The cast was pinged. All right. That's the ping system. You're right. You're right. Good, good, good find in that one, chat. I did not notice that initially. All right. Um, ping system used. Good call. But what I was going to go at here was I love how this Ramatra is in the back line and this Ramatra is in the back line. And what I'm curious on now, did both Ramatras just run past each other? Let me just go back a little bit here. I need to see this. Okay, we have Ramatra. <laughs> Watch this, chat. We have Ramatra right here, and we have Ramatra right there. Now watch. Hey, you want to 1v1 each other? All right, see you later. All right, have a good day. Good ult on the back line. No, oh, he could have held right click at that point still. Which, I mean, at that point, it was also really low HP. It's okay. Somehow this Mercy is going to go revive you in the middle of the team. Nope, not going to happen. Wait, 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 wait. What is... This Mercy's back here reviving this Ramatra. Now we have Battle Mercy again. What is going on here? And that soldier gets rezzed by the Mercy. This Mercy's back with the team. 
It's a 2v5. Do they hold this? Wait, there's no way you cap this, right? Yeah, you can't you can't cap that, can you? Wait a second, there's no way. Right click, by the way. Yes, yes, there we go, there he is, the right click. Okay, it's okay. You get rest in the middle of the team. Do you get revived in the middle of the team? Does it happen? This counts. Especially because you got Junkrat trapped. That counts. That counts. All right, listen, I told you it was gonna happen regardless. All right, I told you. Even if the other one were like, okay, maybe it happens there, it happens regardless. Mercy revives in front of the other team. It always happens at least one point in a bingo card. There it is. We got that one. Let's go. All right, you can go, actually, go in Nemesis form right now would be a really good play because you have so many in front of you. There you go. And you'll do AOE damage to them in front of you, but you'll watch your all charge. Oh, you got a Kiriko ult. Nemesis form. What the? It's, see what I mean about long team fight? This is already considered a long team. What in the? Oh, oh, huge. Huge ult! There we go! I don't know what's happening! This is a 2v5 and it looks like you're gonna get held! Now they're in overtime spawn! Let's go! The team kill! My ultimate is almost ready. Oh, this shield's gonna be amazing. Hey, you were waiting to see someone you're like, when do I shield? Huge visor! This time, we've been waiting for this visor all day! Bastion managed to get the wait. Huge! That vortex actually slowed them. Get the Reaper. Get the Reaper. Another casualty. Let's go. Let's go. See, the whole time, that looks like you're gonna get held there. You managed to touch the point last second. Get revived in the middle of the team by your Mercy, who was in a junk rat trap, and you get the point there. Let's go. Nice play. All right, let's see. Let's, let's look very quickly right now to see what we have here. Was there anything else we missed here? Do, I, don't, I don't remember if I saw a spray. I, I, I didn't really see everybody use their ultimate, even though it probably happened. I haven't seen the 1v1s happening. Environmental limb hasn't happened. Emote after huge play. I haven't seen any of that yet. If I missed it, we'll look back later. But we're on to the second half of this game that we're watching, and I don't even know what to say so far. This has been an absolute treat already. <laughs> this has been an absolute treat already. All right, let's continue on here. Three, two, one. Uh, I want to see where, 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 where your team holds. Oh, they have a Roadhog? Okay. Good Vortex. That's going to be a little bit of all turns. 2%. Nice block on the hook there. See, this is what I mean about holding close here. It happens. All right, that's on the bingo card. Let's head over to environmental limb. <laughs> All right, and there we go. Environmental limb is checked off just like that. Immediately, immediately. Now this means that we're one away from a bingo twice. If we somehow manage to see a wrecking ball, which we haven't seen a wrecking ball yet, we'll see. Classic right there. Generally, when you go up against a road hog, this is another reason why I talk about like where you play like on your, on your position. If they have a hog, Great block on the first shield, right? But their cooldowns are gonna beat your cooldown. So if you just peek this corner, Roadhog wants to hook you off the map, right? Like anybody who plays Roadhog here, absolutely loves this. And then, yeah, there you go. Bye. That's what happens every time. That's what will happen. Without, without a doubt, that will happen. That's a classic. Let's see what's happening so far here. Kind of look around the map while we wait. Already pushing the cart. You know, this is one of those situations where I've talked about. How I noticed that a lot of people, like a lot of games we've seen so far, will just stack the cart. You just sit on the cart the whole time, which is an opportunity to go take map control, whether it's high ground, left side, right side. Um, that could very much happen, or you'll just have five on cart. Well, Roadhog's going in for a hook again. I wonder if they, oh, D.Va. We have a D.Va now. All right, off of Ramaja to D.Va after getting hooked off the map. So that way, if you get hooked off the map, you can fly up. <laughs> if you get that hog. 
Have you ever noticed that once a hog gets somebody hooked off the map, they've decided that the rest of this game, they are going to go for those hooks no matter what. This hog, I want to point out, look what's in front of this hog right now. This hog sees everybody and was still like, you know what? I'm going to hook somebody off the map. I'm committed to this. I'm going to use my heel in front of you. Now, if there was a reaction here where you, they ping the hog, hog would fall over. Granted, that didn't happen because of target focus. Look at the hog. I'm, I'm hooking off the map. Now, did hog go for the diva right in front of them who could fly away? Yes. But was it worth it? We're about to find out. Oh, I took a screenshot again. Perfect. Wait, 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 wait. Let me go back here for a second. Oh, you could easily touch the point here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Easily could have touched the point here. You know what that means, chat. That means that team doesn't get on the objective when they could have, which results in them not winning the round due to them not getting on the objective. Now, I know I said not winning the round, but that counts as not winning the point, et cetera. They're not on the objective. That's going to count. I just made it a large paragraph because Cuber talked about how we always have a large paragraph. Yeah, Cuber always said that every single time on the bingo card, it seems like we start to write paragraphs, so we went with the longest sentence we could come up with. Wait, I have an idea then. You know what? Watch this chat. We're going to do a quick edit to that bingo card, which makes it even better. Could it, which, which results in them not winning the round slash not contesting the point due to them not getting on the objective. There you go. That's even better. Could have easily gotten the point. So now, this is what I... This play right here, whether or not this works as D.Va, because your team is pushing up, this is this is the classic if you don't get the point, right? I'll show you in a second. It happens all the time. You didn't get the point? Everybody in your team's like a bit like confused as to what you should do at that point. So everybody just feeds in because they're like, oh, do we just hold here? Do we go into the point? Do we run in? Do we... What do we do? Generally, most of the time, I find that people just go in because at that point, they're not sure. They're like, just go in! Just go in! And they just go in, and there you go. Now you have this team fight that's happening here because you didn't touch the point because nobody knows what they want to do at that point. Now, did you get the team? Did they get D-Met? Yes. Does Bastion have ult coming up? We'll probably just ult one small area. Probably. Let's find out. No, Bastion just gets three. What the? That was actually a good Bastion ult. That was better than what we've seen before. But now, where's this Bastion ult gonna go? <laughs> I have no idea yet. That was actually, they, they waited a second, which made it harder to get out of that. You can DM that. Okay, so I wanna talk about this for a second. Okay, so if you're in this situation chat, and this is where I talk about like health pack awareness and understanding where the health packs are at, when the hog is right here, you can actually hide behind this box, fly away, grab this health pack, and then sit here at this angle, and then right click, right? But what in reality happens there is you try to sit there and DM the whole ultimate, just remember where the health packs are in map. So if you know the health packs here, you can actually play around that health pack and still be effective against that ultimate. Four to five ults were just used. If we see one more, that will, yeah, oh yeah, oh that. We just need a Valk now, and we're good to go. We just need a Valk. If we get a Valk, that's going to count. I mean, that was what? One, two, three, four, five oh, ultimates okay. used? Not wrong. If everybody uses their ultimates right now in this retake... Yeah, okay. Yeah, now we need a Bastion ult. If we get a Bastion ult, they didn't get on the point again. <laughs> they didn't get on the point again. Back-to-back -back points. That can feel so bad sometimes when you don't get on the point. Back-to-back -back points. It happened. I know they could have touched the point there. At the very least with Valk. At the very least with Valk, they can touch the point here. I want to watch this. Just watch. See, my suggestion there to the D.Va is when you, you could have flown to the point, alt on top of the point, contest the point, use your... I've talked about this before. When you're playing D.Va, you can use your mech as cover, right? Hide behind your diva ult, and guess what happens? You get the point contested. They generally can't get you on the point, and now you have an opportunity to hold, especially with your ult retake. So. And here we go again. The classic, remember? You don't know what to do at this point, and I see it happen all the time. 
Did your team not get on the point? All right. You know, also, by the way, I would say that at this point, we can check off everybody use their ultimates. Someone might go, oh, well, I mean, here's my take. If you use all your ultimates with that amount of time, that amount of time and everybody uses their ult, this is a, we've seen it a few times today where you could already do that. I don't necessarily consider everybody use their ultimates as 10 alts at once. If we see like a bunch of alts used within like that 30 second window, 45 second window, everyone's using their ultimate. So we're gonna, we're gonna check that one off, which is getting us closer to bingos, but we're in a spot where we're not seeing the heroes we need for those bingo slots. So very interesting. Every time a team like doesn't get on the point, but can get on the point, they always just push in. Whether or not they win the team fight, it's like, oh, do we back up? No, just go in, I'm going in, I'm getting this mercy. I'm gonna get this mercy no matter what. Oh, wait, wait a second, I can't, wait, no, hog. Wait, maybe not. All right, let's just hold here. Now the other team is, it's bashing all the time. You know what's coming. This bash is gonna ult soon. They see people. Watch. Oh yeah. Here comes the bash ult, get ready. There's the bell. There it is. All in one spot. Actually, that wasn't that bad. That at least was spread out a little bit. But it's soldier all time. You don't let you don't let uh soldier over here use this ult. Get ready. Let's go back to the Steve ult here. I need to watch this. Oh, that sound is great. Hopefully they fix that one of these patches. There is an opportunity here that you could have went with. Now, do I suggest doing this all the time? No, but I'm gonna show you, okay? Rather than fly into the team, Here's, here's, a, here's a little bit of a trick you can do. You can alt right here on the edge of the bridge here. Let me show you. Okay, so you can alt like right, like right here. All right, because you have low HP. You go, well, if I alt up there, that wouldn't really do anything. It would just save my mech. True, but there is something you can do where you can push your D.Va alt off of where it's at. So if your D.Va alt's up here, if you just run into your diva and push the diva ult, right? It will fall below the bridge and land right here, which means that anybody up there might think they're safe from that ult and it would get anybody on this side too. So a, a trick you can do there is actually move your ult forward when you when you diva ult. This goes for any situation. You doesn't have to get an edge. If you need to move your diva ult a little bit, you just run into it back and forth and you push it in. You can you can you can boop it off the bridge there and you nudge it forward exactly. So that, that would have been a really good situation for that. And it actually probably would have gotten one or two. But when you fly into the ground there, it also puts you in a spot where they're probably going to demag you maybe. No, no. I don't recommend flying in like that. All right. But yeah. Oh, it's soldier all time. We got to watch this. It's time for a soldier all. Better watch out. One second. Got to reload. Yeah, there's a soldier all. Yeah, that's, that's soldier all. All right, back to the diva. Yeah. That's gonna happen. You're in the window, so they're doing a bunch of damage to you. You said you could also Rhine charge the Diva Bomb directly into your team. Now I don't, I don't know. That would probably not help their own team if the if the Reinhardt did that. That probably wouldn't help their team. I think we got a Bastion versus Bastion matchup right here. Yeah, you can Roadhog hook it too. Oh no, I know how to play the games. Oh, I know. Oh, we got an Arissa now. Good good swap against the Hog. Arissa's still good against Hog, even with all the changes. Also, um, what in the... Oh yeah, we got ultimates. Oh, we got ults. Let's see what the Reaper does. It's time. It's time. That's, you don't got any HP, good luck. But Soldier's on the point. Oh, Soldier just stopped playing. Now, hear me out, chat. If you're on the other team, okay? Score. I want to talk about this very quick. Three to three. If you're on the team that now has to defend Switching for four side. minutes, and you're like, wow, the other team just absolutely dominated that half. Match. Hear me out, though. Two of those, two of the times that they got the point, you had an opportunity to get on the point, which means that, yes, they capped with four minutes. That's a lot of time. It does not mean they're dominating your team right now. 
It does not mean that. It just means that get on the point. <laughs> That's what it means. It means get on the point and there's an opportunity there to be won, okay? All right, we're on to Arissa now. Hog's gonna go for the hook, be careful. You can use your gold, don't get hooked off the map. And the hog missed, but they could have hooked you. There's a Reaper back line. No Ana yet right now. I've noticed. I'm surprised to see Bap. Apparently Bap hasn't played that much in a lot of ranks. I imagine the Reaper swap is for the Hog because the Hog was playing well. You could have maybe body blocked the Bastion there. Yeah, so one thing that you try not to do with, with Javelin is Javelin them back to the team because if you do that, it saves the Bastion. Now granted, you can still get the Bastion because the Bastion decided that at that point, um, there's still the tank, so they run forward into your Reaper. But yeah. Oh, they have a Sigma now. Look at these hero swaps. You can use gold there to prevent that. Also, they can eat your spear. Arissa overheating? Oh, yeah, why not? That's a classic. That was on one of the bingo cards. There's just something about hearing... There is just something about hearing the... The voice line of Soldier 76 on an ultimate. There's just something about it. We've got to watch it from the Soldier's point of view. You ready? I got Soldier all. I got Soldier all. Oh, you're done. All right. See you later. Huge res, though. Oh, we have a Reaper all coming up. It's time. Will we finally get a huge Reaper all that will go on the bingo card? It's time. Huge. That. This has happened four times or three times. I don't, I don't understand. The objective, the objective. First of all, that's a huge reaper roll, okay? You wanna know why? Because it just is. Second of all, at this point, Arissa's given up on that cart. Kiriko's like, cart, cart, I can't help you yet. Cart, please get on the cart. Arissa's like, what? What? There's a Bastion, I can ult them, it's gonna be huge! I got, I got one, I got Hanzo, I'm gonna get Bastion! I'm gonna get Bastion! The cart. Score. The cart. Ready for battle. Then I better not be disappointed. Alright, let's check the bingo card. Have we missed anything while we're in between the half here? I don't know, do we count it as a really good Reaper ult? No, mystery heroes would be if someone swapped their heroes like five times in like three minutes. Do we consider that a really good Reaper ult? Because like, there's no... There's no context to really good Reaper ult. Really good Reaper ult could be exactly what we just saw. But we won't count it. <laughs> okay. We got Arissa again. We got Hog. What? Do they do this? What happens if we get a bingo? We get a bingo. This is fun to go for it. Okay, so listen. This is the second time that's happened in the exact same spot, all right? Now this is, uh, we're gonna talk about Rialto here. There's a, the, the reason why, if they have a hog, listen. If they have a hog, I would recommend playing around here. Why? Hog does not get the same value. Hog will lose half of the value right away if your team plays here, right here. If you wanna hold close against like a Ramatra comp, go for it, listen. I recommend backing up playing here in Rialto. This is a good spot to play. Good sight lines. If you're here, you give yourself a little more opportunity for them to get you. But that was, that was the second time. Same spot. Same spot. Has that happened to me before? Absolutely. You know what it was? I, it was like you were so committed to trying to get that Bastion, you did not care about the hog. This hog clearly wants to hook people off the map. Which I wouldn't doubt it if this hog runs all the way to the bridge right now and tries to hook somebody off the map. Now I'm curious, will this hog run all the way to the bridge trying to hook somebody off the map again? Oh no. You gotta hold. Activating 
Good javelin. Good javelin. Be careful in this room. Careful. Oh, we have a team fight. Oh, yeah, this is a treat. The Reaper's tanking. Yuris is playing DPS in the back line. Bastion randomly kills the Mercy. The wall's javelin. The hog's low, though. The Reaper's in. Huge Reaper ult. Huge. It's two. Let's go. That Reaper tanked and got two, which wins the team fight. That was huge. I count. Listen, chat might be like, does that count as a huge Reaper ult? Hear me out. If your team needs to hold for four minutes and you go into the middle of their team while tanking and being in the front line the whole time while your teammates playing back under the bridge and you ult and get two, that's a one team fight, which gives you an opportunity. We're going to go with that one. That counts as a huge Reaper ult because of the situation their team was in. We count that one. All right, let's go. Really good Reaper ult. I'm happy with that one. That was a good Reaper ult. We, 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 that's what I'm talking about. We keep that one. We keep that one, all right? Thanks. No emotes. Nice play. Now, what's the reaction here? Do you set up on the map? No, Reaper teleports into their spawn. I can't tell if you're waving or like looking at your Reaper or what's going on there. Oh yeah, that hawk's mad. It's like the position in here. Oh, run! No, don't. One thing I'm noticing, by the way, that you're doing with the wrist of like javelin spin is you're kind of just like hoping they'll shoot into your javelin spin. You can be aggressive or back away with that. If you just sit there in the middle of the open, that's how they end up one shotting you after your cooldown's done. Nice javelin, don't get me wrong. Also, that Reaper walked in front of a window. That bashing is going do damage. Oh, here it comes. Did that bastion ult in front of you, or did you pull the bastion in? <laughs> I like how the bastion's ultimate. Like, after they ult, they're just like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? And then they didn't have enough time. What do I do? I'm like, oh, oh no. That's a classic right there. That's a classic. Good ult. Uh oh, watch out. Junkrat's on the point, kind of, I don't know what's... Chat, is this going to be the redemption arc for the Soldier 76 Ultimate? We've seen all the Soldier ults today. Is this the redemption for the Soldier 76 ult? Is this the one? Is it time? Is there a Bastion flanking by themselves? There is. Hostile here. Huge 1v1, let's go! Pink system, it was used, yep. There's Arisa overheat, remember, don't overheat your weapon. Don't overheat the weapon. Reaper has ult again. Soldier has ult. Who's ulting first? Oh, you know Reaper's gonna. That could be game saving. Arisa has ult again. Saw the Junkrat trap. Junkrat's on the flank. For some reason they just went Sombra. Junkrat got the eleven time. It's time. Oh, huge. Okay, you you used your power really early there, but that's, it happens. You're hacked! But their revive was one! It's doing time! Go in! 
Start spamming buttons! Huge! That's one, that's two! And you win the whole game. And just like we talked about, by the way, they had a lot of time on the clock because you got off the point. That's why, that's why they had so much time. So if you came together as a team and won this, and you also got off the card again on attack, you're going to win that game. That's a full four-minute, like, 15-second hold. Start with you getting hooked off the map. Reaper got an alt a limb. Soldier got an alt a limb. The supports played well. The other team randomly decided to start swapping heroes for absolutely probably no reason at that point because they lost one team fight and didn't really know what they wanted to do at that point, even though they probably could have stayed consistently with the same team cop and won. But it happens, and you won the game. Now, the question is, did we get any of the stuff from the bingo here? I don't think so. Was the other team playing Mystery Heroes? I wouldn't say there was enough there for me to dictate that they were playing Mystery Heroes. Once again, no Wrecking Ball. The friendly ability didn't help the other team. There was no friendly equipment to attack. I didn't see a spray after a one team fight. We might see one. Someone might mention it. Mystery Heroes, no. Emote after huge play. I didn't see one. There actually wasn't a lot of huge plays to emote after. I felt like a lot of the team fights were really long. Do you know what I mean? Like, it was a lot of, like, really long team fights that, like, didn't result in, like, the opportunity to even emote. You get, like, two limbs and it kept going. Um, mirror matchup is considered both teams on the same comp. Three 1v1s. I mean, that one we might be able to look at and say there was three 1v1s. Cuber might be able to notice it and be like, yeah, we had that one. Widow duel, no widow. And there was no Ana to have nano support. So, a great bingo card again. In my opinion, a great bingo card again. Just didn't get bingo. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... I, the bingo videos have been awesome. I really hope you've been enjoying them. Thank you for, for watching them. I, I, I'm just, they've been awesome. And uh, it's been really cool to see that people have been loving them. If you like the channel, and you have, or if you like the video, like, like the video by liking it. Sub to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Both YouTubes. And I hope you all have an amazing day slash night.